Hi friends, welcome to the Chickadee Knitting Club. My name is Caitlin and today we're going to learn the first step to knitting, casting on. Casting on is the process of getting the yarn onto your needles so that you can knit. The method of casting on that I'm going to teach you is known as the long tail cast on. I will admit it's a little tricky to learn how to cast on. So if you have a friend or someone in your family who knows how to knit, I would recommend asking them to cast on your first few projects for you. That way you can just focus on learning how to knit. But if you don't know anyone who can cast on for you, that's just fine. That's what this video is for. I believe in you. So let me show you how to cast on. To cast on, you just need yarn and needles. For this method, you only need one needle. So you can take the other one and set it off to the side. The first step is deciding where you want to cast on. As you remember, this method is called the long tail cast on, so you're going to need a nice long tail. You don't want it to be too short, or you'll have a very short project, but you also don't want it to be too long and end up with more yarn than you can handle. For most projects, I just like to pull the yarn to my elbow. And that gives me a long enough tail for most of the stuff I like to do. Now that we've decided where we want to start casting on, we're going to make a slip knot right at that point. The way I do it is I take my finger in the yarn and twist it so that there's a little X right there. You can hold on to the X as you put your crab pinchers right through there. Make sure you can still see where the X is. Reach over the top, pinch the yarn there, and pull. Ta-da! You've got a slip knot. If that was a little confusing for you, there are plenty more videos on YouTube that can help teach you, or you can ask a friend or grown-up that knows how to, to do it for you. Next, we're going to hold on to that and grab our needle, because it's time to put the yarn onto the needle. Just slip it there, grab the two tails, and tug until it's snug, but you can still move the needle back and forth freely. And guess what? That little loop right there is your very first stitch. Congratulations! Now we've got two strands of yarn attached to the needles. The one that's still connected to the ball of yarn is called the working yarn. And the other is just the tail. I'm going to take your needle and hold both strands in your fist. You see the gap that the two strands make? While still holding on, poke through with your crab pinchers and spread them out. Turn your hand so that it kind of makes a slingshot here. With your hand still held like a slingshot, you can see that there's three strands. One, two, and three. I'm going to take the point of your needle, go under number one, over number two, and number three. Go underneath number three, and you see that little window or hole or gap or whatever you want to call it? Poke it right through that gap, and then let go with your thumb. Take your prep inches again and spread them a bit to once again make the loop on there snug yet easy to move. You've made your second stitch. Let's try that again. Pull like a slingshot. Go under number one, over two and three, under number three, and through that loop. Drop with your thumb and tug. Under, over, under, through the loop, drop, and tug. Under, over, under, through the loop, drop, and tug. Under, over, 
over, under, through the loop, drop, and tug. Under, over, under, through the loop, drop, and tug. You can see now that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. I recommend for your very first project to cast on as many stitches as years old you are. So if you're seven years old, seven stitches is perfect for you. But if you're like me and you're just a kid at heart, I'd recommend 10 to 15, depending on what you're comfortable with. If you've made it this far, I have full confidence in you that you will be a capable knitter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful in teaching you how to cast on. Feel free to pause and rewatch this video as many times as you need. And don't be afraid to ask questions in the comments below. Speaking of questions, this week's question is, what is one thing that you're thankful for this week? Feel free to share in the comments below. Stay tuned for next week, where we'll be learning the fundamental stitch of knitting, known appropriately as the knit stitch. I'll see you soon.